Good evening folks and welcome to uh, a pre-season special really. Uh, most of you saw what we did last year. Um, before we start this year there's going to be some changes this year uh, which I'll explain quite shortly but before we start this year uh, I'd like to point out um, some things that you should look out for. The Westmoreland Cricket League uh, are doing a regular podcast. I was lucky enough to be on the first one. I think it went quite well. Uh, some improvements to make. Uh, that will be publicised on their Facebook page and on, also on their Twitter page. Uh, and they've got a Players Forum page as well, if you're a member of the league, that you can look at that on. Uh, that's run by James Main uh, and Tim Mansfield. Also, a new Twitter account has appeared, which uh, many people have asked if, if I'm behind it. I'm not. That's at League Cricket NW, at League Cricket NW for Northwest. Follow that on Twitter. They seem to have a decent insight as to what's going on in uh, the Westmoreland League, the Northern League and the Palace Shield, which is the three leagues that I cover. Um, so before we start on what we're going to do with the new system for this year, I've just got some thank yous to be, to, uh, to uh, hand out really for um, encouragement and uh, support over the last season uh, with what we've been doing with these videos. Uh, and the, the thanks and support and the, the generous comments are very grateful, uh, great, very gratefully accepted. Uh, Rob Hales, who's the uh, involved on the Palace Shield, he's the umpires coordinator for that and for the Northern League. He's been very supportive, chipping in with the old comments, suggesting the improvements. Thanks for that, Rob. Much appreciated. My friend Steve Jones, who's a Northern League umpire, uh, had very uh, encouraging things to say. And on the Westmoreland League, Peter Gladstone and Tim Mansfield and latterly James Main have also been very supportive. That's appreciated. Brendan Rich, the chairman at Carn for the personal friend of mine, very supportive. As is Mike Latham, who's a, a former chairman of the Northern League. Um, he's a, a sports journalist, written loads of books. Look, everyone will know Mike Latham. He's been very encouraging and supportive. Uh, and on the, on the playing front, uh, a friend of mine, Steve Whitwan from Golker in the Huddersfield League, He's entered into the spirit of things. The Huddersfield League do a podcast as well. You can follow them at, at uh, on Twitter as at uh, Hud League. That's H U D D League, uh, and look out for their social media. Uh, Jane with a scorer from Delph uh, at Weetabeat W H E A T A B E A T. He he runs that. Uh, that's interesting to do. That's uh, audio only. Uh, Chris Miller from Kendall, Ben Barrow from Netherfield, and Graham Cassidy from Isham have all been supportive. Uh, providing me with details and little bits of gossip here and there when they can. So thanks for all that. Uh, now what we're going to do this year is we're not going to do the weekly previews and uh, results updates. Not going to do that. Uh, I think everybody can find a way around play cricket now. So that's a bit old hat. And especially with the League Cricket MW, they're, they're probably going to be doing some updates. And the Westman League podcast will... Uh, We'll update you as well on um, all four divisions of the Westmoreland League, so that'll be helpful. What I'm going to do this year is each month, at the end of each month, after all the games are finished, so like uh, right at the end of 30th of the month or something, I'm going to go through each league from a stats point of view. I'll go through the league tables, and then I thought what we do on a stats point of view, do something a little bit different. So um, I'll do this for the whole end of last season as things finished and you'll get the gist of what i'm going to do uh, each month so i'm going to go northern league the most runs scored in the league father tidy 1020 highest score of the season sidesh lad 144 and what i'm going to do this is going to be incremental so i'm going to, it's going to be the best so far at the end of each month uh, most sixes abe negi 22 and most ducks scott whittaker of fleetwood and Brad Earl of Netherfield, 6 each. Now, Scott Whittaker's interesting because he only, he only had eight innings. Uh, he didn't score any runs. He had two not outs and uh, two not out notes and six ducks. So, uh, that's a good effort, that. Um, so, I'll have to keep an eye on that. Then, bowling-wise, I'm going to go most overs. Chalana de Silva, 235. Most wickets, Athava Taidi, 54. Best bowling performance, James Lee, 8 for 32. Then in uh, most catches, Josh Boyne and Atharva Taidi, 16. And most wicket-keeping dismissals, Finlay Richardson, 35. Palace Shield, you see how this is going to work. Asher Hart, most runs, Asher Hart and John Heed, 634. 
Highest score, Nicky Burns, 121 not out from Penrith. Most sixes, Greg Cameron from Penrith, 30. Not hard to see where they got promoted. And most ducks, Robbie Sumner from Penwitham, 5. Uh, most overs, Jacob Holland, Vernon Karras, 212. Most wickets, Jacob Holland, 49. Best bowling, Joseph Barker, 7 for 22. Most catches, Will Thistlethwaite, Daryl Waring and Anthony Wilson, all 13. And wicket-keeping, Adam Sexton, 30 dismissals. With that one stump in there, he got right at the end, do you remember that? Uh, and then the Westmoreland League, most runs, Ryan Nelson, 852. Highest score, Ryan Nelson, 123 not out. Most sixes, Sam Calverley, 20. Most ducks, there were lots of people, there's actually eight people got five ducks, so I'm not going to embarrass them all. Uh, wickets wise, Tom Ridley, 51. Best bowling, Kyle Whitelock from Heesham. He didn't play much. He got 8 for 15 in one game. And most overs, Sean Partridge of Wharton trundling in with his left arm trundlers there. 208 overs. He bowled a lot of overs there. Most catches, Ryan Nelson, 14. And most wicket keeping dismissals, Shane Dixon, 25. So that's how it's going to work. At the end of each month, it'll follow a similar pattern. So I look forward to speaking to you nearer the time. Have a good season. And if your club's providing tea, make sure you fill your plate. Thanks for watching, guys.